Hey, thanks for watching another video. I'm going to show you how to make a simple reflection today. First thing you need to do is duplicate this layer. Then we're going to come up here to transform. We're going to rotate it 180 degrees. And we're going to flip it horizontally. Alright, now I'm going to turn down the opacity a little bit. And I'm going to move the layer till it's right there. Alright. Now, I'm going to turn that layer off. I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool to select the concrete right there with the water and raindrops on it. And I'm going to feather it just a little bit. Alright, turn that back on. I'm going to mask it. Now you can look, see that it's already a pretty good job, but we need to either multiply or overlay to get the raindrops and ripples to show through. I'm actually going to apply this layer mask real quick. Alright, now if I push multiply, you can see the ripples are coming through. You can also use overlay, and as you can see, it's brighter, but the colors are off, and so is the, the lighting. It's brighter over here and darker over here than it should be. So generally, I use multiply, because it's more consistent over the whole image. I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to select this by pushing control and clicking. Alright, now I'm going to mask that one as well. And, oops, I guess I did on the wrong one. There we go, now I'll mask that one. There. Alright, now I'm going to apply that. And... I'm going to change the brightness and contrast. Now the contrast, as you can see, is going to make the ripples pop out more. And the brightness, we don't need a whole lot of that. But a little bit will do. Alright, same thing on this one. Let's see what we need to do. Just a little brightness. And just ever so slight amount of contrast. Now that's looking pretty good. Another tip is merge these layers down and you can actually overlay or multiply again and that will make the ripples show through even more. I'm actually not going to do that. I'm just going to use normal. And I'm going to show you up here you can come to the filter gallery and distort and zigzag. Now if we turn this up this down a little. Actually, I'm going to turn that down just a little. Don't need quite so much. Alright, now you can see that added ripples in there. And if you want, say, a water droplet, use the lasso tool. Go like that, and just select that one spot right there. I'm going to go ahead and feather that. And come back here, and use out from center. I'm going to turn this up this down. Not too much, just some. Which okay, now you got a, a water drop up there. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my Facebook page at facebook.com slash Benjamin Root Photography or just click on the link.